Today's Chiefs Mailbag is presented by Manscaped. The best men's grooming products on the planet are from Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use promo code CHIEFS. That's manscaped.com and promo code CHIEFS. All right, let's get into your questions here on the Chiefs Report. Shout out to Ryan kicking us off with a super chat. How do you think Orlando Brown Jr. played? Did not think he was that good against the Jags, especially early on. I think he settled in a little bit late, better later on, but that's also when the Chiefs kind of employed that quick passing uh, game. Good run blocker, still very inconsistent as a pass blocker. Um, you need him to play better against Cincinnati because Mahomes' mobility is obviously going to be at least somewhat cr compromised. From Jared Neal, who could we sign at left tackle this offseason? That's better than Orlando. Um, I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's going to be hard to, like, upgrade in free agency. He's probably your best option still. Um, you know, you could draft somebody if you want to go, like, Paris Johnson or Peter Skaronsky. But I think the most likely scenario, Jared, still remains franchise tag for another year. Tag him one more year. If he doesn't take the proper step next year, uh, worthy of a big-time contract, then – you know, you move on in 2024. Tony Fuentes says, I'm excited and uh, excited and excited. I think you meant excited and nervous. I saw some of your other comments, Tony. But, yeah, I'm excited. And, yeah, there's reason to have jitters. This is a team that has beaten you three times in a row, all high leverage games. Um, you know, you blew a 21-3 lead in the AFC Championship last year. Uh, and just on top of all that, like, Cincinnati is not some Cinderella story that people viewed them as a year ago. Like, this is this is a really good team. I, they almost won a Super Bowl last year. Joe Burrows, to me, has surpassed Josh Allen. I think he's the number two quarterback in the game behind Mahomes right now. And some will say if the, he beats Mahomes this weekend, he could surpass him. I wouldn't go that far, especially since Mahomes is dealing with an ankle, a uh, pretty bad ankle injury. But that storyline will be out there. So um, this is going to be tough. It's going to be challenging. But – how can you not be excited for a fifth straight AFC Championship game at Arrowhead Stadium? Uh, hopefully the Chiefs play well and uh, find a way to get it done. Turtle, great show. If Patrick Mahomes gets further injured, how confident are you in Chad Henney? It's a good question um, because Chad Hen obviously Mahomes ain't or Henney ain't Mahomes. Let's get that out of the way. But look, there is a scenario I would imagine where if Mahomes starts and you know, the ankle gets rolled on again or gets tweaked. That I'm sure there's some l threshold of where if it gets below it, they would have to take Mahomes out. Now, I'll say this. Chad Henney led it, not only a nice 98-yard drive, a critical one uh, at the uh, in the second quarter to give the Chiefs, uh, I think it gave him a 17-7 lead at the time, whatever it was. Um, that was nice to see. Uh, we know Henney knows the offense is capable, you know, of executing certain parts of the offense, especially the quick passing game. He's pretty accurate on the underneath stuff. Uh, but if it's like Mahomes gets hurt in the first quarter and Henny has to go the rest of the way, your chances dwindle dramatically. Now, if it's like the second half and it's a close game, could, could you pull it off? Yeah, I think it's possible. Uh, but these teams are too evenly matched. Like, if it's Chad Henny for more than two quarters, your chances of winning are pretty slim. Now, what do you guys think? Do the Chiefs have any chance if Henny has to play? Type Y for yes, in for no. I don't think they have a chance. High chance, no. Low chance, yeah, 15%, 20%. I think there there is some hope because he's been around so long and knows the offense. Uh, but your chances go down dramatically, e even though Mahomes is banged up. Y for yes, in for no. Uh, pin comment on today's show. Do the Chiefs have a chance if Chad Henney has to play? From HFA Recon, what if Frank Clark plays so well from here that we somehow bring him back? I think bringing him back is a possibility. I didn't think they'd bring him back last year, and they did. So clearly he likes the organization. He took a pay cut to return. Uh, the organization likes him. Thought he played really well against Jacksonville. If he has a great playoff run, I could see him coming back. I still think he would have to be on a pay cut, but um, I do think there's a scenario where uh, Frank Clark returns in 2023. From King Lewis, I hope we get our revenge. Yeah, I mean, listen, um, this is really the first time in the Mahomes era that a team has had the Chiefs number. Um, Cincinnati, the last two seasons has. They're 3-0 and against them, again, in all pretty big games. Both games last year were big. The regular season one dictated the seeding. And uh, the one this year, while it didn't impact the Chiefs from getting the number one seed, it very well could have had that Bills-Bengals game not been canceled and had Kansas City lost one more game down the stretch. So, um you know, this, this this game means a little bit more. I think the Chiefs, 
probably are very thrilled to have this opportunity because uh, they're looking for revenge as well. Breaking news here on the Chiefs Report as Manscaped has launched a brand new product. Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's show. Attention all bearded gentlemen. You probably noticed that my beard has gone away uh, or has been trimmed. And guess why? Because Manscaped has launched a beard grooming kit. It's called the Beard Hedger. Let me tell you about it. Are you tired of using multiple products to maintain your beard? Look no further than the luxury Beard Hedger Pro Kit from Manscaped. This complete beard maintenance kit has everything you need from the modern man on the go. From trimming to treatment, this kit has it all. Kit includes the beard hedger, AC adapter, USB-C cable, beard shampoo, beard sh kit, or conditioner, beard oil, beard balm, and a travel bag to throw all of it into. Plus, as a special bonus, you will also receive a free beard accessory pack with a beard brush, beard comb, and beard scissors. You get all of this, 20% off plus free shipping when you go to manscaped.com, promo code CHIEFS. The Beard Hedger was designed with a unique cutting angle to have its built-in comb lift flat, flat lying hairs for smooth, single-stroke trimming. And like I said, limited time, 20% off plus free shipping with promo code CHIEFS. Coolest part about the Beard uh, Hedger from Manscaped is instead of having all of, you know, 20 different... Uh, what do you call those things, guards to like determine how, how uh, much you want to trim it, it's on a rotator. It's just on, it's just on the one deal, uh, so you don't have all this extra stuff uh, flying around. Oh, I want to do a 6, I want to do a 12, yada, yada. It rotates, you pick the number, boom, you get the trimming. It's very, very nice. Promo code CHIEFS when you go to manscaped.com. Got myself a nice little trim about a week ago. Feeling nice and groomed with the Beard Hedger from Manscaped. Check the description and the comments uh, to get going with Manscaped. From Matty Maness, should Chiefs rush more because of the O-line being injured, or should we play more coverage? Please answer. Please answer. I got you. I got you. I'm answering. Um, listen, did anybody expect this Bengals O-line to play as well as it did against Buffalo? Um, so, yeah, if they have to play some backs, uh, backups, you might – take a couple more chances still but they held up very impressively now some of that could have been the snow maybe the defensive linemen weren't getting off their rushes that well it's hard to say uh but um i'll be very curious to see how spags employs uh the blitz on sunday i said in our preview video i think you actually probably need to blitz less uh because joe burrow is so good when you bring pressure and just leave these receivers in man-to-man -man because they're so good at creating separation, so uh, I would actually expect less blitzing, but we'll see what Spags ends up doing. From Moishi Feldman, we are going to put the Bengals away for good. Mahomes will have 400 yards and five touchdowns, 41-17. I mean, that would be incredible. Um, I do think Mahomes can answer the bell and have a big game, even though he's injured, but, I mean, I just expect a battle. I, I just think the Bengals are – a force to be reckoned with. They are worthy of being here. They're in this conversation with Kansas City uh, at this point. So I don't see it being a blowout like that. I think it's going to be a back and forth game. Uh, but hey, if you're right and I'm wrong, uh, I will be thrilled if that is the result. Now, if you want the latest Chiefs news and rumors here on YouTube, we got you covered. Daily videos here on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe today. We're not going anywhere. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. From Beach Bro and Lou Dog, what do you think the odds are we win with Mahomes' injury? I do think they go down. Um, in my initial preview, I I guess that the Bengals will lose a close game. Now, I'm starting to shift a little because if with Andy Reid saying the injury isn't as bad as it was in 2019, I, I think it, it's truly 50-50. That's what the betting odds say. Uh, I think this is a coin flip game. I like Kansas City being at home. I think that's helpful. So... It's going to be tight. I really think this is going to be a four-quarter dogfight, and, uh, you know, it probably does come down to the severity of Mahomes' injury. If he was 100%, I'd be rolling with the Chiefs. If he's 85%, I still think they have a decent chance, so uh, i got to see how he looks early on in this one. From King Lewis, who are you looking forward to draft? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think you'll probably be in the market for a receiver if Juju and Hardman walk, which I think there's a good chance they will. Uh, I think you could get another corner. I think this is a big game, too, to kind of determine, okay, what needs needs to be addressed this offseason. Uh, but shout-out Trent McDuffie. He's been playing really well. Uh, Jalen Watson, too. Um, pass rusher. I think you need another pass rusher. So those are a couple positions I'd look at. So if the Chiefs lose on Sunday, if, obviously – can win and might win. 
How do you view this season? Do you view it as a success or a failure? It's really hard to grade an AFC championship appearance as a failure, but standards sky high. Now, maybe it's somewhere in between. Like, it's not a hardcore success, but it's like, well, Mahomes had a high ankle sprain. Bengals have been really good. AFC title game for a fifth straight year. It's not really a failure either. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it could be pretty split, the, the, the votes here. Terry Singleton, did you think – do you think Hardman and Tony can be on the field together this week? I hope so. Um, I'm not that confident with Hardman's status. Um, Tony's going to play, obviously, and I think he has played pretty well. But uh, I, uh, I don't, uh, I do not think that uh, Hardman's chances are great. But we'll see how the week progresses. Mike Tilson, I must admit, I'm very concerned. I really hope KC can finally beat them. It's going to be a long off season if we get knocked out by Cincinnati again. Yeah, look, I mean, if you lose this game again, uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit of going back to the drawing board, but I do think it depends how you lose. Like, if you watch the game and it's like, well, Mahomes' ankle was a major factor, then, I mean, are you going to look up there and say, well, yeah, you know, we're just, we're, we're screwed. We're never beating the Bengals. But, yeah, I mean, falling to 0-4 against them in high-leverage games, that would be that would be tough. So, hopefully they can get it done. From Jared Neal, Chad Henney has the record of longest chief drive in playoff history. Hey, 98, man. Shout out, Chad Henney. That drive was vital in winning that game. It really was. It chewed off clock um, over six minutes. It extended the lead in the first half because we didn't know if Mahomes was going to come back. Had he not been able to come back, that drive was even more critical because who knows how much more you were going to be able to score with Henney. So, Chad Henney, man, when he's had to play in – a couple of high leverage playoff spots now, Cleveland a few years ago and now Jacksonville. Like those two spots alone, he's earned his money as the backup here. He really has. Like I, I've said for a year or two that I'd like to develop a young backup and I thought this year you could have gone to Shane Bouchelle as the backup, but they've stuck to their guns with Henny and it's paid off. You gotta give him credit for that. There's no doubt about it. Appreciate all the questions on this mailbag. Uh, subscribe if you want more videos here on the Chiefs Report. We publish daily, so hit the sub button and turn on the notification bell. And uh, we'll have another mailbag here on the channel coming up.